I was going to play a video for you of my testimony. Um, that video was going to be critical of the fact that uh, when the library heads were here, uh, what you did was let them, rather than testify, just play a video about how uh, libraries are good. Well, that's not in dispute. We know that libraries are good. That's not what we, we have to find out at these city council hearings. Fact of the matter, are, there are tons of questions that need to be asked. <clears throat> I've furnished them to you and they will be up on the web. They were not asked at the city council hearing. Monday, the day before the city council hearing, uh, a article was fed to the New York Times that the central library plan was going to cost half a billion dollars, hundreds of million dollars more than the public had been told and should have been told a long time ago it was going to cost. Uh, at the same time, very suspiciously, they suddenly said that they were, had a plan that was just fine and dandy that was going to sop up all the rest of the money and that we should just accept that it was right. Well, we were right. We were more than right. Uh, we've been vindicated. But based on the fact that we were right, I think you ought to realize that all the other questions that we are asking about the library sales and shrinkages and sell-offs and how expensive they are need to be asked. And if you don't ask them, you don't have control over the matters of the budget here that you have to have control over. So if you have time to play an 11-minute video from the libraries about how good the libraries are, you have time to do the more serious work of asking the hard questions that need to be asked of the library heads because the public has zero trust of the library heads in these library sales that are not for the benefit of the public. Thank you. Yeah, I want to thank you all for your testimony, and I, I just feel like I, I must comment on the, the library testimony and say that uh, while I uh, share your uh, anger uh, over uh, much of the history surrounding the uh, plan at the New York Public Library, uh, I just want to say that I think this council and these members in particular that have remained here, but even my colleagues that aren't here, take our oversight role incredibly seriously. And I think a lot of the uh, things that have happened since the uh, New York Public Library abandoned its plan is uh, in huge part because of activism uh, from folks like yourself and other folks that are here, but also from this council and the serious questions that were raised and asked. Uh, I understand that you folks may be upset about letting uh, the library system play a video uh, with regard to uh, the work that they do. Uh, and I understand that you have many questions. I, I've, I've read them. I've read them. Uh, but, uh, uh, sir, I got it. But I just want to say that so much of uh, what's done at local libraries falls on the back of individual council members who time and again each budget season step up and support public libraries. So uh, I would just say that I think some of your anger that's directed at this council is misplaced. We share similar values. We step up on behalf of libraries in our neighborhoods. We've asked tough questions and will continue to and to question the commitment of members of this council and we've shown time and again that we care, I think is uh, unjust. Can we do more? Yes. Should we ask more questions? Yes. But if it wasn't for many of the members that are up here today, our libraries would be suffering even more and it's important to acknowledge that. Thank you.